Good morning and welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors again. This morning we're going to be doing another real quick video on making a real simple shelf. This will be a great shelf to do store some of your small parts for your bows. If you're in your wood shop, you can put small parts, screws, different screw heads that you use, any any little miscellaneous small stuff that you just want the clutter off your workbench. Real quick, real simple. One board is all you need. The board is not very long at all. So let's get to the video. We're gonna start out, this, this board came from Woodcraft. It's actually a piece of hickory. I enjoy working with hickory. It's a lot, it has a lot of characteristics like oak. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna be a simple shelf, but we're gonna add a little bit to it because we're gonna be using the dovetail jig and we've already got the dovetail jig set up. If you need a video on that, I've actually done a video we can link below down or link down below for, to go watch the how to use your dovetail jig. But anytime that you're building something in your shop and you're not in a great big hurry, instead of building IKEA furniture, let's just little put a little more time and effort and pizzazz into it and make it something that'll be kind of fun. Another thing that we did on this is we we're actually it's kind of a little tribute to fallen officers and these coins that are in this, and I'll zoom in on them so you can actually see them. They came from a company that is called Relentless Defender. A lot of the t-shirts and stuff you've seen me wearing in the past and in the future videos came from there. They also do the little coins, the memorabilia for fallen officers. As many of you know, I'm a retired police officer, so that's just kind of a way that I can honor them. I'm sure you guys have noticed the thin blue line in my wall, as well as the containers above are blue as well. I love blue, so there we go. Let's get to the build real quick. Again, this is a rough cut board. I'm going to call it, I think it's going to be an S2 is what they call it. It's smooth on two sides and it's really kind of rough on the one. Both your edges need to be trimmed off and cleaned up. We're going to start off, we're going to cut it down on the um, compound miter saw. We're just cutting 90 degree cuts. Again, my overall length, I wanted this to be around a little over two foot long so that I have plenty of room for the trays. So I think I started out with a 30 inch board. That way, by the time we get done doing the edges, we're gonna run it through the joiner, we're gonna run it through the planer, and then we're gonna take it over to the dovetail jig. The dovetail jig, I had it set up for thinner material than what this is. So you'll notice there's gonna be a little bit of slop, a little bit of play in it. You could spend a lot more time, cut you some extra pieces and make sure that it's right. I got it close. I've struggled in the past when I try in my mind what I what I feel like is right ends up being too tight because if you can get it to go together and it's real tight by the time you put the glue in there the wood swells a little bit and it's very difficult to get it in. These are more of what I'd call on the ex other extreme. They're almost a hair loose in my mind however there's enough room for all the glue to get in there spread out and have a good glue joint. Again, this is a small shelf. It's not gonna be holding up a ton of weight and it's in the wood shop. If something happens down the road and the piece falls off, I'll glue it back on, who cares? It's just another fun way to use some of your tools that you have, give you an excuse to go use them. And this is, if, if you have that board laying around that you don't know what you wanna do with it and you've had it for a while, um, it just gives you a little shelf, something that'll come in handy to help you organize your works. After we get it cut, jointed, ripped down. Again, just like we've said in our previous videos, that final measurement on the rip doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you cut enough boards so that they're all gonna be the same width. And that's your goal. It makes your glue up process go a lot better if one board, if all the boards are the same instead of one being like a 16th inch short or a 16th inch fat. Rip them all the same, cut yourself some extra in case you make a mistake. Now we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna lay the pieces out. I'm, now that we've got it set up, I'm laying the piece, pieces out over the dovetail jig. We're going to do that real quick. It's only, you're, you're doing two pieces at once, doing the half blind dovetails. So it's real quick, real simple. Get it lined up, we'll do that, and then we're going to start the glue up process. While the glue's drying on the dovetail jig, I'm going to go ahead and I've got another scrap piece of wood, and this is possum oak that I got off the property and I ran it through my sawmill and I've, that's a piece that's been drying for almost a year now. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna take it over to the drill press. I'm gonna drill just some shallow holes in it so that we have room for the coins. From there, I didn't have any epoxy, so what I did is I used the super thick CA glue that I got from Rockler. 
and get them all set up where they're sitting right and then I'll spray a little bit of the uh, accelerant on the actual piece and then uh, one more step that I did since that CA glue is so thick I kind of just globbed it on and just spread it around a little bit across the entire face just to give it a little more protection and then did the same thing sprayed it with accelerant and that way everything should hold in there it shouldn't fall out so again guys if you like our video give us a big thumbs up if you know anybody that's into the archery stuff or even looking for some quick tips on woodworking we try to share tips with you in each one of our videos we hope that you will share this video with your friends and family again we appreciate each and every one of you and may you have a blessed week